What is the street parking vault? The street parking vault is one workout a week for 25 weeks with the goal of helping you build consistency. You can do any version of the workout. You can customize these workouts to make them work for your equipment and fitness levels. Each week, log your workout before the time is up. Remember, your scores do not matter. You just can't miss. Welcome to week 13 of the vault. Today we have Pyramids of Giza. We have Silver joining us and she's gonna be doing program B with the barbell. I'll be doing program A, going a little heavier on the clean and jerks. And we have Silver here with us, but today we're gonna to be going for the gold, okay? Um, I, had, I had to do it, I had to do it. For more detailed demos of everything that you're gonna need for this workout and any other customizations, you'll want for making this work the best for you, go to my.streetparking.com and we also have some tips for you right after this workout. And they're off. And they're off Pyramids of Giza, Molly. Yeah, this one looks like a real treat. We got Silver and DH here that are ready to get after this one. Get it, getting after this one, we see some dumbbells out and about, which is good news because it is Project That's April. That's right. This is the first official vault of Project April, and we are kicking it off with a good one. So, well, yeah, what is it? What is this good Project April workout? <laughs> all right, so yeah, speaking of Project April, let's talk about Program A that DH is doing over there. So all of Program A, B, and C are going to be the same with the reps and movements. They'll just vary a little bit, obviously, with the equipment you're using. So we've got 40 air squats, which you can see they're crushing right now, 20 double press, and then 40 air squats. They'll rest a minute, and then they're gonna do part two, which is 40 air squats, 40 uh, clean and jerks, 40 air squats. And they're just gonna take a nice one minute rest. A little quick, quick a lot rest. Of, a lot of time to collect yourself in a minute rest. All 60 of those seconds. <laughs> and then part three is going to be, they're gonna round it back out with 40 air squats, 20 devil press, 40 air squats. So you've got three parts to this workout. Part one, part two, and part and three. And part three, look at that. Three parts, part one, part two, part three. They are in part one. They are, they are in the middle of part one. And it looks like, so DH already mentioned, he'll be doing all dumbbells across the board. Yep. Silver will be using a barbell for the clean and jerk. Correct. And they're both decided, so they got a little bit fitness bullied by Julian on this one. <laughs> um, Silver was thinking about going 75, so. She went 75, which uh, then Julian pushed DH to use the 50s on those clean just, and jerks. Just a gentle nudge. Just a little nudge. He's a good little little push you off the edge right there. So what what is the score and the scoring and the goals for this workout? Yeah, so for this first part, for parts one and part three, we're looking for you guys to finish those squats and double press in about three to four and a half minutes. We're looking to finish those ones in. And then for the middle part where we're doing those squats and clean and jerks, we want to finish that one between five and seven minutes. That's going to be our, our goal. And then again, our score is going to be the time it takes you to complete part one, and then your second score will be part two, and then the last one is going to be part three. Okay, so part one and three, we're looking at three and a half to five and a half minutes. Part two, we're looking five to seven. And so basically, guys, what this is saying is take out your pen, take out your paper, yes. get your whiteboard. I mean, clearly, because I had the goal is three to four and a half minutes. <laughs> so you guys get it. I wanted to cut you guys and make you guys just move a little bit faster. <laughs> Molly <laughs> always pushing us to be our best. All right, so then we talked about A, we talked about B. 
Pepsi is basically the same thing, except for instead of Devil Press, you can do a sandbag burpee. Yeah. And your sandbag clean and jerk. But shift is a little bit different. What's shift, Molly? Yeah, so the shift, shift numbers are going to vary a little bit. Um, we've got part one's going to be 24 air squats, 12 burpees. So we're going to kick those dumbbells to the side. 24 air squats, same thing, you'll rest a minute. Part two is going to be 24 air squats, 24 hang power clean and press, 24 air squats, rest a minute, and then you're going to do the air squat burpee and air squat again for part three. Nice. All right, we got DH and Silver are wrapping up their last few squats here for part one. Let's see where they wrap up. Now they're in a bit of what we like to call the leg pump. Leg pump. As they're rounding their bend on these on these 40. Rounding the bend with a leg pump. I'm liking all of right? this, Molly. They look like they're going to be... Oh, DH finished in 336 oh. and 337 for silver. Look at that. A little back-to-back -back Yeah, situation. you can see from their faces we got a nice little pump in the legs. Oh, yeah. And you know what's yeah. exciting about that leg pump is you get to rest 60 seconds, and then you have to do it again. <laughs> you know, the, the thing with the 60-second rest is, is it's just enough time to... Realize how terrible you feel and it's time to go 100%. again. 100%. <laughs> I don't know. It was you, though, I'm pretty sure, Molly, who told me you break your rest of yes. 60 seconds up into 15-second chunks. 15 to 20 seconds. You do. Because yeah. look at They already have about, we're coming up on 10 seconds rest, and then they're going to go again. So part, 40, 40, part one 40. of their four-part 15-second rest <laughs> <laughs> has been completed. <laughs> they're going to head into part two, which, again, guys, is air squats, clean and jerks, and air squat. So another air squat sandwich. This yep. is how they do it. But the Pumping the legs. But the kicker with this one is we're doing now 40 clean and jerks. So really, let's talk a little bit about the air squat. So let's. it's important on this movement to not squat. try to <laughs> not try to compromise <laughs> the range of motion that we're looking for to move faster. Okay. So a lot of times what we can tend to do is maybe lean over at the top right. where we're not standing up all the way, or maybe we're not hitting that depth. So make sure that we're hitting that range of motion that we're looking for. Roger. And then if you want, a good tip on this is to find a consistent pace, like Silver's almost doing a really good example of it, where we just get a nice little pause at the top, but you notice she's just consistently moving. There's not a lot of breaks or anything. That's yeah. a great way to tackle the 40. I haven't seen a stoppage point yet. Yeah. There we go. Quick shake out, and shake now she's gonna hit it in. again. See, she was just giving me the demo. She was yeah. just giving me the demo of a quick little stop and shake. I mean, a fun little math. I mean, what are we? We're coming up on. They're going to be doing 120 air squats by the look, time they're done with this. Look, so. no one needs your negativity. All right, <laughs> no one needs to add that up right now. We're still only in the beginning half of part two. Oh, here we go. Silver's onto this clean and jerk. Oh dang, pulling ahead of DH onto the clean and jerks. <laughs> You got it, Silver. I don't know if you guys could hear that at home, but as soon as she pulled on that bar the first time, she said, oh, my legs. <laughs> yeah, right, so we got the clean and jerk. Let's talk a little bit about Let's this. Let's talk about the clean and jerk, Molly. <laughs> so in both of these, whether you're using the dumbbells or uh, the barbell, um, you really want to focus on when you're doing multiple reps in, the in a row um, to make sure at the bottom that you're lowering your hips a little bit. So right. what tends to happen with the clean and jerk is people will leave their hips super high, yeah. which then puts a lot on your low back. And okay. then when you go back to those air squats, see a low back, you're not gonna have any more of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, the other thing, so if you're, we're in Project April, right? So we might be busting out those dumbbells. Um, try to not do a bicep curl from the floor. No, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. Those floor <laughs> bicep curls are a... Uh... No. <laughs> so what we, what we really want to think about this movement, guys, is your legs are going to be fatigued from the air squats, but as best as you can, really think about jumping and pulling under those dumbbells or even that barbell. And even on that jerk, try to think about re-bending your legs a little bit underneath it just to save the shoulders. Yeah. You can tell, though, the impact of the, all the squats is definitely catching up with them on, on this movement. And they have so many more squats to go. <laughs> Just a few more squats. Just a couple more, but they are at least halfway through on the squats, right? Like at this point? One, at this two, point, three. yeah. Yes. They're at this point, they're the halfway squats. through the squats. That's fantastic news all across the board. Yeah. I'm really excited that Silver ended up going with the 75 pounds on the barbell. I think she is just crushing it. And she's going to have, look, look at that little shoulder pump she has going on. Dude. So they're Look about the pump. they're about three minutes into this part two, and again the goal for this for this second one is between five and seven minutes. So they're on pace right now to finish within that goal time that we're looking for. That and is it, fantastic. And so for this one, they, we do have an extra challenge. So Ooh. they challenge themselves with going heavier in the weight, but we also you can increase the reps if you're just 
feeling a little spicy? Yes, you're like, you know what? These pyramids need to be bigger and more difficult. <laughs> so what you would do here is that you would actually increase the air squats to 50 and the devil press would go to 30. Nice. So again, it would be one or the other. They, they chose to go heavier here with the clean and jerk. Um, so they're keeping all the reps um, as prescribed. So just the, the normal numbers, which is plenty. Plenty. It's plenty. I'm loving this. I am loving this. This is definitely the, I would say, uh, for me, more challenging pyramid of Giza. This middle one here with, with these, these clean and jerks. Although, you know, devil press in their own right, very challenging. Yeah. So but this is the biggest pyramid, I guess you could say, with the 40 clean and jerks right in the middle. This is the biggest pyramid of them all. So they're at the four minute mark of this part two. So again, we're trying to stay between five and seven minutes on this one. Well, let's real quick, while they're in this middle part of the pyramid, let's talk about the Pyramids of Giza yeah. real quick. Yeah. So the Pyramids of Giza, they are three pyramids in Egypt. The middle one being the biggest one. We're the, just saying that. We're going to say that. And <laughs> whether or not that is historically or factually true, we're going to go with the middle pyramid is the biggest pyramid. Don't fact check it. Or if you do, don't at me. I don't exactly. know. Exactly. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> but, um... The last workout, if you guys remember, was Khufu. Yes, that's now, what we did, that wonderful one that I got to do last week. Loving it. So Khufu was the pharaoh who commissioned the Great Pyramids of Giza. And these are the Great Pyramids of Giza. Three pyramids in Egypt. And as you can see, each part kind of represents a different pyramid. Boom. Look at all that, guys. Look at just that. tying it all together. We're trying. I, they're at the five minute mark right now for this part two. I am absolutely loving this portion of it. This is my favorite pyramid so far. All right, so let's talk a little bit about Project April, because this is yes, okay. the first official uh, vault of Project April. So, what? Molly, what is Project April? So this is kind of our, our unofficial challenge that we, we do uh, here at Street Parking. We started it, Miranda and Julian started it in 2018. That was oh the first my. year we did it. Long, long time ago. Where we challenge you guys to, no matter what equipment you have at home, you could have a full gym like this, barbells, um, the whole the whole gamut. We challenge you guys to only use your dumbbells for the month of April. Yes. So we want to see, you know, one is to, to build confidence that that's all you really need is a pair of dumbbells. All you need is a pair of dumbbells. All you need. Yeah, so yeah, the month of April, we're gonna challenge you guys. Maybe for some of you guys, you already use dumbbells every day, so that's you're running Project April all year. But for those of you guys that have a full gym, we are going to, to ask you guys to put away the barbells, let them collect a little bit of dust, and um, challenge your belief on what you need in order to get fitness in. Let's go, Silver. I love it, I love it. All right, Deej is onto those air squats. Oh my God, Silver just picked up the pace on her air squats. She saw DH run into the air squat section. She said, no, thank you. Yeah. There it is. Nice. Silver finished at 11. Solid. I'm going to give her approximately four seconds, and then I'm going to go ask her a question. That was about that was about <laughs> six and a half minutes, so she was right there in that goal time. Good job, Silver. You ready? All right, Silver. How would you say this workout's going so far? Hard. <laughs> How about those air squats? Hard, yeah. My legs are feeling really huge they they look huge and the shoulder pump is looking real too oh good <laughs> do you want to give a shout out to anyone at home uh, hey Ben, it's my husband yeah what about your kiddos what about your kiddos <laughs> i had kids i doubt they'd watch this but hi nolan hi quinn <laughs> good luck on the second or your third part yeah last part last part all right so then if you guys don't know Silver on IG, her official IG name is Snack Squat Smile. Snack Squat Smile. And if you guys in, out in the community, I know you guys love a little meal inspiration. So if you're not already following Silver, she shares a ton of recipes, meal ideas, which I mean, I love that. You're I all love about that. that. My girl Silver you're is just grinning at ear. Yeah, yes. I love it. Recipes, She's, yes. Yeah. So if you guys ever want some meal inspiration, check out your girl Silver. That's what's up. See, she knows. Yeah. All right, so we're in this last pyramid. We're in part three. Um, we have already done uh, 160 air squats by this you point. You and your math. <laughs> Jeezy, crazy. Let's just go say there's been a lot. There's going to be a few more. All right? <laughs> so we got a good pump here. So again, the goal for this one is three and a half to five and a half minutes. Um, Love it. So we've done a fair bit of work 
ahead of this, so it's probably going to be a little bit slower on this part three than it was in part one when we were soups fresh. Reasonably so, so <laughs> like 100%. If you aren't going slower, then wow, you're you're dope. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, do you have any recommendations for just like cruising? It's a, you keep bringing up it's a lot of air squats. Any recommendations on how to mentally get through that many air squats? So for me, what I like to do is think about, rather than like thinking of the larger number, break it up into smaller chunks. So oh, okay. whatever smaller is to you, that could be like looking at as four sets of 10. It yeah. could be looking at it as like, oh, I'm gonna focus on getting to 20. Okay. And then worry about the, the 20 after that. I almost like when I have a numbers like 40 to count to, I'll yeah. count one, one, two, two, three, three, until I get to 20, because it oh. makes it seem smaller in my head. Okay, all right. So play a little number game in your head. But while Silver's on these double press, let's talk about this movement for a minute just because it can sometimes get a tad bit sloppy as we get tired. No one likes a sloppy <laughs> devil press. All right, so a couple of things. When you're especially doing this in part one, I recommend on the bottom, try to loosen your hands a teeny bit on those dumbbells as you're doing that burpee. Oh, okay. Because you have the clean and jerks in that middle part, right? So you want to save right. your grip a teeny bit. Now, when you jump your feet in, really focus on getting your chest up and keeping those hips slightly lower so you're really gonna utilize the legs to jump the dumbbells overhead. A lot of the times, again, we can, just like I was talking about the clean and jerk, we can keep the hips kinda high at the bottom or yeah. even when you jump your feet in and um, that can really impact the low back. Another tip on this one is if you just get really fatigued and tired, step back and step up on that burpee, right? If you're just oh. like, oh, I'm super tired, I can barely move right now, try to try to go to that technique just to Love keep it. yourself moving. I mean, These guys that. are doing great right now. They're in the the home stretch here of this workout. Oh yeah, they're they're getting up and over the tip of the third and final pyramid. And they're gonna work their way all the way back down and then be done with the pyramids of Giza. Let's go, Silver. Let's talk about Silver. She normally does work out around this time of day that, that we're filming this. However, that's in a three hour time difference. So, <laughs> although technically this is in her sweet spot for working out, she is in the wrong side of the country. <laughs> <laughs> she is, she is. But she is used to working out in the cold. Yes. She's a mom of two. She's got um, her five and three year old. So hopefully Aww. they'll be watching this later, watching mom crush it. Mental health therapist. Yeah, dude. Here we go, Mass last set. All right, we're gonna crush these last 40 air squats. She's got a fair bit of fatigue and pump in the legs and she's gonna crush it right nah, now. Nah, she's fine, look at her, she's smiling. That's a smile, That's right? A smile. That's a smile. <laughs> Nailing it. DH is getting through the last of his devil press. Yeah, Silver I think she's is just cruising about on three home. and a half minutes right now. Right in that goal time. She is smashing this. I'm definitely glad that uh, she got fitness Gently fitness bullied into the 75 pound clean Yes. Yeah. yeah, so if you notice, she looked like she got about the halfway mark, kind of took a quick break, and then now she's on that down half of those last 20. Again, just that little bit of pause at the top can really yep. help keep yourself moving. And her plan going into this was just to try and push through the air squats in as big a chunks as possible, which is exactly what she's doing. Yes, Home there we go. Now. Yeah, they're very uh, uncomfortable, yeah, yeah. right? We got a lot of burn in the legs and it's just about keeping yourself moving. Yeah. Yeah, 16, 22. 13, 14. All that I think quad that was right pump around four minutes felt for that part great. Two, I think, if I got that time right. Oh yeah, immediately stretching, immediately yeah, stretching. Yeah, we got DH round it, rounding it out over there. He's just got a few more squats left. The pump is real. The pump is indeed real. This is where guys just gotta grit your teeth, squint your eyes and go for it. Yeah, for the, for the most part, you're not gonna fail the air squat. It's just gonna be severely uncomfortable severely. to accomplish the air squat. <laughs> But just, just, yeah, just don't add things up before you do this workout. Yeah, I don't know why you just kept coming at us with numbers and figures. And you should never, in my opinion, be like, yes, this is the three digit number. Oh, uh, yeah, DH. Yes, DH. Yeah, I'm, I think I'm you never might have been interested. I'm right that four and a half, five minute mark for that part nice. three. So we'll have to, we'll give them a break to catch their, or give them a chance to catch their breath. Yeah. And they'll give us some good tips for this workout. Yeah. So again, guys, Project April, pull out those dumbbells. Pull out those dumbbells. Make it, make it happen. Again, Break them out. You don't have to sign up for the challenge. There's nothing to register for. 
Simply just use those dumbbells for your workouts for the month of April. Improve yourself. Build confidence. That, that's all you need to I love maintain it. fitness and get after it. I'm excited. I will I will momentarily put my sandbag away. Oh, my barbell just going to collect dust and be yeah, so sad. Just for this month, though. Just for just this for month. Just for this month. We got it. All right. Let's head to uh, DH to get some tips on the pyramids of Giza. All right. Silver, gold, star, performance. I keep running with that one. Um, this was an awesome workout. Um, a great combination, body weight, movement, obviously the air squat. And those two very large, moving, dynamic weighted pieces with the double press and the clean and jerk. And it just really tests your ability to dial in technique and to be efficient while under the kind of the high heart rate stress of yeah. getting through the air squats quickly. Because I was just telling uh, Silver that air squats are one of those movements, they might seem like, like a, an easier rest type of movement, but if you know, if you're honest with your ability of moving quickly with any body weight exercise, movement like the air squat, that's where you can really push intensity. I think it's important for a lot of us to learn that there before you try and translate that into more complicated um, dynamic weighted movements. So this was a really good test of that, I thought. What do you think? Yeah, <laughs> all of that. The, um, I think I would have paced my first set of double press a little more. I kind of just went for it. It felt good, but yeah. I think I was really hurting for those first clean and jerks yeah wobbly yeah wobbly it took yeah. a while to like the first five like to feel it and then you i got used to it but your legs are really tired mm -hmm. by then yeah. yeah i was i was really hoping i could like focus on my hips yeah. to get the weight going up for the clean yeah but your legs are shaky. So, so shaky after 120 air squats already yeah. done relatively quickly so and the minute the minute rest is Nothing. Yeah, you're just like, great, I'm tired. Time to air squat again. Yep, exactly, yeah. but it was great. That was a good one, that was good. Good job, good job. Good. Welcome to the 2023 vault. This workout is the Pyramids of Giza. Part one, 40 air squats, 20 devil press, 40 air squats, rest one minute after part one. Part two is 40 air squat, 40 dumbbell clean and jerk, 40 air squat, rest a minute after part two, and finally part three, 40 air squats, 20 double press, 40 air squats. You'll have three scores for this workout and it's the total time for each of the three parts. Your goal is to keep parts one and three in the 3.30 to 5.30 window, and for part two, from five to seven minutes. My tip for this workout is for parts one and three since you have the devil press in the middle. And if you've done devil press enough times, you know there's only a certain pace you can hold. So that means on the 40 air squats that you're gonna start and finish with, you can push the throttle here. Go fast and challenge yourself to do as many as you can or go unbroken. For part two, Choose a weight that's gonna allow you to do the clean and jerks at a conservative pace. You should be able to get somewhere between eight to 10 reps at a time and challenge yourself to take short breaks and get right back to work. Your shift workout is going to be part one, 24 air squats, 12 burpees, 24 air squats, rest one minute after part one, part two, 24 air squats, 24 dumbbell hang power clean and press, 24 air squats. Rest one minute after part two. And part three, 24 air squats, 12 burpees, 24 air squats. You'll have three scores for this workout and it's gonna be the total time for each of the three parts. And the goal is to hold it within three to five minutes. My tip for this workout is for parts one and three on the air squats that you're gonna start and finish with, you can push the throttle here. Go fast and challenge yourself to do as many as you can or go unbroken. 
For part two, choose a weight that's gonna allow you to do the clean and press at a conservative pace and challenge yourself to take short breaks and get right back to work. For more detailed demos of the movements in this workout and any customizations to make this work for you, go to my.streetparking.com.